Hey special agents, this is Agent Me So Hungry, and today on the Lunch Files, we went to Burger King to check out the Brew House King. What's up? Okay, there we have it. Look at the Brew House King from Burger King. This is a mighty, mighty hefty burger for the 4th of July weekend, which has passed. I hope you all had a good 4th of July weekend. I'm just now getting around to this behemoth of a burger. Let's pop the top off as I cannot see much on the back side. Now we got the traditional fresh lettuce and humongous amount of mayonnaise from Burger King. We got some nice fresh looking tomatoes slathered in mayonnaise. We got the crispy, I think they're crispy onion straws, I believe. We got two flame grilled patties. And we got cheese, and I know there is a brew house sauce in there. Kind of hard to distinguish that from the cheese, but I believe that right there is the brew house sauce. And there's some bacon on there too, but this thing is slathered in so much mayonnaise you can't really see too much. There's the bacon. It looks like two strips right there. Oh man. This is going to make me extremely full I believe. That's a, that a heavy burger. Woo! Brewhouse King baby. Let's do this. Go. Brewhouse King. In my face, in your face. Let's do it. Oh. Man. That's hard to get a, hard to get your mouth around the whole thing. Mmm. Now the first couple bites I just took there. I'm not really tasting anything different than what a double whopper would taste like. Even these uh, crispy onion straws. I do get a salty onion flavor there, but that's by themselves. Eating you know, a mouthful of this burger. I'm not tasting the brew house sauce. I'm not tasting the onions, the bacon, the things that should be making this burger special and unique. Those flavors are not really coming through. Let me take a, another bite to analyze and hopefully I can get some of that brew house taste. Mm. I'm making a mess of myself here. I've watched, some, I've watched some other reviews on this and people have said the same thing that I'm saying is that you can't really taste the special flavors that make this brew house a special burger it really just tastes like a double whopper to me and uh, I'm a little disappointed by that I, I was kind of hoping for you know, when you, when you get food cooked in beer or wine, it has a nice, distinct flavor. And this is just not, it's not doing it. It's not, it's nothing special. They put in a special wrapper. They put it out with a cool commercial. Brought back the, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hello? What's up? But... Man, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to try to take a couple more bites and see if I can get that flavor. I really want to taste that, that brew house sauce. I don't know what's going on here. I've been eating the brew house sauce. I see it squeezing out between the patties there. I and mean, that's the sauce, but I'm not really... I'm 
not really getting anything special out of that. Okay, I don't know what happened, guys. I think I may have gotten a stale bun, but just handling this bun, look what happened. I've never had this happen to a Burger King bun before. What is this? Why is this happening? Ugh. You know what? I, I was telling you guys that I thought this was the brew house sauce. That's not. It's cheese. I can't find any brew house sauce on this unless it's mixed in with the mayonnaise. Ah. You know, I should have uh, taken the, the advice of some of the other people. They said, get it without the mayonnaise and maybe extra brew house sauce. So this might be another one we revisit in the future and uh, try to get that brew house sauce flavor because I'm not, I'm not able to isolate it. And, I mean, this is not, this is cheese. That's not even brew house sauce. I thought it was. Ugh. This is frustrating. Well, I'm disappointed by this uh, brew house burger from Burger King. I wish there was something distinct that stood out. Instead, I got a crappy bun, and I don't think I got any brew house sauce. I, I can't find it on the burger. So, I'm just going to give this a 2 out of 5 because, I mean, it's still a decent double whopper, except for the bun. Maybe I should give it a 1. Nah, we'll give it a two, because it tastes good. But, man, this is... I'm disappointed. Hopefully I can, try it, I can try it again later sometime, and hopefully get something better. Alright, thanks for, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you uh, tuning in. And uh, if you could like, subscribe, and share this with your, with your friends, I'd appreciate that very much. And take care.